Hey YouTubers, DIY Dan here. In today's video, I wanted to show you my new toy. I finally pulled the trigger on a new four-wheeler. After an exhausting two months of research, I finally settled on a Can-Am Outlander L XMR 570. I felt that Can-Am offered the best bang for the buck when compared to offerings from other manufacturers. For $8,500, you can get yourself a mud-ready four-wheeler that not only looks good, but is also a quite capable trail and utility machine. You can even sweeten the deal like I did and wait for the manufacturer to offer end-of-the-year rebates. Manufacturers usually offer these rebates or deals at the end of the year to make room for their new incoming models. I know, a lot of people are probably thinking, why did you only go the 570cc engine? There's no way that thing could have enough power. To respond to that question, I was pleasantly surprised how snappy this 570cc engine is. To put the Can-Am 570 engine into perspective, it actually makes more power than Yamaha's 660cc engine and about the same power as their 700cc engines. Also, the 570XMR comes with some pretty cool standard equipment, like Mudzilla tires, high mount radiator, 10.5 inches of ground clearance, digital display, tri-mode power steering, and a rear glove box. I also like the fact that the XMR has cast aluminum wheels as opposed to the cheap stamp wheels found on other brands. For $8,500 plus tax, it's a very hard package to beat. My only complaint with the machine is it doesn't come with a winch. I get it, Can-Am was trying to hit a price point, but if they would have originally raised the price by a few hundred in order to have a winch as standard, it really would have been a home run. So far, my first impressions of the XMR is that it's an absolute blast to drive on the local trails. Sure, the Mudzilla tires leave a lot to be desired, but I expected that. Since I'll be mudding this machine on the weekends and trail riding on the weekdays, I plan on getting an extra set of trail wheels and tires to accommodate my needs. So far, the XMR has handled every muddy situation I have thrown at it with ease. If you are an XMR owner as well, make sure to subscribe and check back. Since my channel is all about the DIYing, I have a few upgrades and maintenance videos planned over the next few months, so stay tuned.